All right, it's a new day and I'm ready to focus on the diagnosis. So let's get to it. By the way, I game over it again on purpose just to refill my tries. So we're back here now. If you remember from surgery when we operated on, on this patient, uh, we know it's this, but we need to, you know, figure that part out. Chest pain, that's down here. S3 and 4, yep. Large target, yep, yep. Oh, that was down there, interesting. Abnormal Q, negative T, BMP, low blood pressure. Now, what about this continuous sound? Is that in here too? Let's look. Yes. Well, the symptoms seem to all add up. Dilated cardiomyopathy. That's one serious disease. Cardiology is absolutely necessary to properly diagnose dilated cardiomyopathy. Yeah, but we'll need some strong evidence if we're going to convince him. Wait. Relevancy to viral myocarditis. Don't tell me that's what happened two years ago. Doctor, should we return to the examination room? Yeah, damn old geezer. This isn't funny. Oh, you, you person, you, you're gonna get a talking to. You again, you quack. I will not let you examine me. Yeah, that's fine. I've got a plan this time, too. A what? What kind of scheme are you running here? I don't know. Just toying with the thought of leaking some interesting facts to the press. A certain politician who had viral myocarditis two years ago and collapsed due to heart disease. What? What would you bastard? How the hell do you know about it? Bingo, huh? So it was viral myocarditis then. What? Don't tell me. Did you? Hmm? Oh yeah, I lied to you. <laughs> confirmation that it was indeed viral myocarditis two years ago. You bastard. How dare you? Who do you think I am? I'm not putting up with this any longer. I'm leaving. Hey, shut the hell up. I will not hear another word out of you. That's it. Huh? Oh, he's putting down the foot. Now you listen to me. It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of powers you have. I'm a doctor, and as long as you're sitting in front of me, you're nothing more than a patient. Now, if you understand me, then shut up and let me do my job. Uh, Roni, send a request for echocardiography. We've got a date with the image analysis lab. Request sent, doctor. The echocardiography is now available. All right, let's get to it then. Got some nice motivational music to go with. Roni, is the echocardiogram ready? Yes, Doctor. It is ready for you to review. All right, let's take a look, see. Doctor, I will now provide you with more information on this examination. Echocardiography is a technique of using ultrasonic waves to form an image of the heart. This examination is a safe and essential tool for observing heart irregularities and diseases. Thanks, I had no idea. I mean, it was my decision to run this exam on him, but whatever. Doctor, I'm sorry, did you say something? No. No, no, carry on. Okay, let's see here. Bingo. This area here. Just as I thought. The left ventricle is enlarged. Rona, you got that? Jeez, it's even worse than I imagined. New symptom observed. Enlarged left ventricle. Let's 
get back to my office and decide on a diagnosis. It almost feels like cheating. Uh, oops, don't, I didn't want to go here. Well, let's see if there's anything uh, funny to say. Huh. What did your echocardiography thing say? Calm down. We'll get to the bottom of this very shortly. No need to get all riled up. I don't care what you're doing, but hurry it up. Yeah, I think he sounds defeated, so. Anyway, feels like cheating knowing that we, you know. Okay. We got all the symptoms running. It's time to decide on the diagnosis. Yeah, this. But that's kind of the thing with, you know, jumping all over the place in the timelines. Well, you know. Yes, Doctor. Please narrow down the possible diagnosis candidates. Well, this is all one continuous timeline, but, you know, different doctors and uh, specialties and everything like that. It's a disease where the heart muscle weakens. The myocarditis from two years ago is the likely cause of it. Uh, is it curable? When can I get back to the office? There's a 50% chance you'll last five years. Ten years, maybe 30%. You need a heart transplant. Stop worrying about work. Don't be ridiculous! Listen up, son. This country's in a pretty tight spot. It won't last without the honest folk at the range guiding it. Please, I love this nation, and I need to help save it. <sighs> Unfortunately, saving your life will have to come first. Take my advice. Move out to the country and wait for a donor. Secretary Tillman has cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Can we do anything? Maybe beta blockers or angiotensin. <laughs> you want someone who could die any second running the country? Uh. He may live, but his political career is over. We can't do anything? He's so passionate about his work. Medicine has its limits, and passion doesn't save lives. True that. If that's all, I'm gonna get going. Oh, uh, wait. I need to talk to you about Joshua. Shouldn't you be talking to the kid's family? Isn't Joshua your son, Doctor? The boy hardly knows my face. It's not much of a father. But, Dr. Cunningham... It's over. Sometimes you need to learn when to give up. Well, dang. I wasn't expecting that. Let's continue. So you're the 
one who takes care of the flowers? What? Oh, babe. They enjoy flowers. You give them love, and they blossom. <laughs> so different from humans. So, what'd you need me for? Could you take a look? This condition is a strange one. Hmm. So, what's with all the fuss today? Well, you haven't heard? Someone's doing an oil CBR today. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No one does that procedure anymore. I'll be assisting. A specialist coming in for it. I see. It's one of your patients, you know. Mine? Don't tell me. Hey, out of the way! Let me through! It's all right, man. <laughs> I thought you'd come. So, it is you. An OLCVR? What are you thinking? You told me yourself that you're the doctor, right? Yeah, I may have said something along those lines, so? Well, you're the doctor, and I'm the politician. <laughs> yeah, well, it's my duty to lead this country, even if my life's at risk. But do you have any idea what kind of operation this is? It's outdated, and it won't cure you. It's just a stall. Ha! <laughs> you afraid? You were so strong before, preaching at me. But son, you don't get to my age being as timid as you are. One thing I've learned over the years, never give up. Damn, that's one determined old fool. Tell me about it. All right, different patient. Here we go. The patient, Shelley Brooks, claims to have a fever. <sighs> Dr. Cunningham, are you listening? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Your concentration is low. You may overlook something critical. Huh? What are you talking about? It's not gonna happen. Does Assistant Secretary Tillman's operation weigh heavily on your mind? Shut up. It's not it. I'm sorry, Doctor, but... I am equipped to listen. I even gave you a consultation function, huh? <laughs> no, but I can supply template responses to match your mood. Yeah, that's just pity comfort. Come on, let's start the diagnosis. Understood, Doctor. I am now opening the patient's chart. Okay, we have another familiar name here, but this might take a little bit of uh, extra thinking power. So, get right to it. Hello, I'm glad that someone could see me. Not a problem. Now, to begin with. Um, I'm sorry, doctor, but I have to attend an important business deal soon. Is it possible to keep this as quick as you can, please? Well, I wasn't planning on wasting time. Yeah, I know, I know. I love Lucy's on, right? Brony, are you ready? Yes, doctor. All right, let's start the diagnosis. Let's talk. It's just a cold. Can you prescribe me something so I can get back to work? Mm, this is a tricky statement. Let's wait. I can't. Oh, here. This isn't good. I've got a meeting soon. Um, I've had a fever for a while and it won't go away. I've also lost some weight, but I think it's just because of the fever. Besides that, I've been having night sweats, but that might be the fever, too. Uh, I can't think of anything other than those. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't trying to hide this or anything, but I had an operation two months ago. It wasn't at this hospital. Tell me more about this. Oh. I had some kidney trouble and received a transplant. Maybe this one? Ah, I'm slipping. No. Too early for this to happen. There's some odd bruises around the scar from the operation. 
Station. Bruises. Around the operations guard? That worries me a little. Could you tell me in detail where they are and what they look like? Oh, yes, of course. The scar from the transplant healed cleanly, so there isn't much of it left. But there are these black bruise-like things around where it was. I'll need to look at it in detail. Would you mind showing me later? Yes, if you need to see it for the examination, I understand. It's strange. I made sure to take the medication they gave me, too. But that's it, really. See? It's just a cold, right? That's a pretty elaborate cold. Abnormalities around the operation scar, huh? Well, let's see them. Oh, yeah. Right here. Um, hello? I guess I'll check, check the heart and lungs too while I'm at it. That's normal.
Weird. Hey, how are you doing? Any changes in your condition? Please, doctor, I'm very busy, so... Right, right. Let's hurry then. Wait a minute.
Now, I thought maybe since she mentioned it before, it would, uh... Oh, but I have, I have, there's some strength, but... Okay, nothing new there. Oh, right, the, the operation. I think it's, um, I have a soft eye. Oh, but I have an operation. There's some, it's strength. Tell me more about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. The medication prescribed after the kidney transplant. Hey, I'm sorry, but can I confirm something? You were given immunosuppressive drugs, right? Um, yes. Isn't that something normal to take after an organ transplant? Yeah, that's right. But that's something we need to know in making a diagnosis. Now, everything depends on the results of your biopsy. Have come back in the pathology department. Good. Finally. How are they? The antibody reaction was positive, but they failed to specify the virus causing the disease. They failed to specify the virus? What in the world are they doing? The reason is unknown, Doctor. Shall I explain the 1,874 patterns of conjectures in regards to it? Well, I guess that could be higher. Uh, what? But no, that's all right. It shouldn't be a problem to make a diagnosis. Rony, let's go back to the office. I have to narrow down our possible candidates. New symptom observed. Positive antibody reaction. So, we have all the symptoms. It's diagnosis time. I don't think I'll mess up here, but... Yeah, positive antibodies. Hmm. So it is Kaposi's sarcoma. But why? The period of time until the onset is too short. It's similar to Kaposi's sarcoma. This is something else. Doctor, we have an urgent contact. Please head immediately to the examination. Uh-oh. Okay, readmission. Hey, are you all right? What's wrong? Oh, well, I went to work, but uh, my stomach started hurting all of a sudden. There's a chance your condition took a turn for the worse. Roni, get ready for examination. Yes, doctor. Begin when you are ready. All right, well... In the next video, we will commence phase two. See you then.